My marriage? That's an odd topic. Only because you've never introduced it. My mother likes to know who she's dealing with. August Swenson's a friend, right? An acquaintance. Well, she casually mentioned to me that she met you and your wife in New York. Casual nothing. My mother likes to know the dirt on people, and she's been known to pay in cash. I see. Well, maybe I should have found out who I was dealing with. Ignore her, darling. She's still trying to torture me for that Tad Martin affair. And, and what's your interest in this, Liza? A uh, gossip soundbite for the nightly news? Oh, that would be the last story I'd want to pursue. Oh, why don't we go to our mutual corners? You go to your date, darling, and I have my date. Mine is business. Then why don't you take care of it, darling? I didn't mean to make you wait. I ordered more coffee. I wanted to enjoy the show. I thought we were pretty discreet. You could cut the tension with a knife. Oh, drop it, Adam. May I ask what Dr. Kinder is treating Marion for? Or with? I don't know. And I don't care. Oh, I think you do care. Very much. Uh, my wife left me. No, no, no forwarding address. Were there any children? No. Thank God. I received divorce papers from the Dominican Republic three days later. It was very simple, very clean. How can you be so clinical about this? I mean, wasn't it devastating for you? Oh, Marion, it was a very long time ago. Well, my heart goes out to you because I've been where you are. I've been left high and dry. Did I ever mention uh, Arthur? No. Of course I've never mentioned Arthur. Well, he was an artist and I was an idealistic fool. Is she dead? No, she's unconscious. Make sure the coast is clear. I'm getting her out of here. Jonathan. Jonathan, I seem to have lost you. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, Marion. It's just not my favorite subject. Oh, well, chin up, darling. We've all been there ourselves, you know. We find love, we lose love. But I don't know why you're still grieving so, darling, and why you've been so secretive about it. Please. Don't tell me. Look, the doctor will right back in here. You don't know your name, your last name, your first name. Do you know who the doctor is? Should I? Oh, you don't remember anything. It's not there anymore. I don't understand. Doc's going to lose it. He's going to lose it. This is going to be the end. I can't answer your questions. Let me go. People deal with pain in their own ways. Now, I appreciate your candor. You know, open wounds can fester, darling. I've dealt with it, Marion, in my way. Have you ever tried therapy after your wife left you? Please, please. Now, this is very personal. Well, therapy certainly has been a lifesaver for me, darling. I I'm sure, and I thank you for your interest. If you change your mind, I can hook you up with any number of support groups. Well, I like to keep my private life private. Besides, I'm past it now. Can't you tell? Well, I'd uh, like to be totally convinced. Preferably behind closed doors. <laughs> Adam, could you get the bill? Liza, Liza, she's an adult. But could we settle the check, please? What's the hurry? We haven't discussed our latest candidate. Oh. Uh... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you at the office. No, I'm heading straight home from here. Well, but there was a discussion. You know, you, you weren't interested in hiring Brian anyway. Now, actually, I was impressed. He's matured. Uh-huh. He's got my vote. Well, I'll keep my polls open a while longer. I'd love to stay, Downing, but I'm closing on an enormous mansion. You know, an Arab chic, gigantic commission. Oh, Marion, don't keep him waiting. Dinner later? 
Yes, call me. Oh, you better believe I'll call you. <laughs> Bye, darling. Bye-bye. mother is a perfectly lovely company. No, she's dangerous company. Do you realize how much she's found out so far? And it's not going to be long before she finds out everything about you and me and Tony. You can't let that happen. I'll... You'll what? You'll do as I say? Stop threatening me. You'll find out what is in Janet Green's safe deposit box. Jonathan, I'm not a thief. I know what you are. And unless you want the world to share in that knowledge, you will do as I say. Evidence that Tony was killed. Different guard tomorrow. We'll Everybody try again. Everybody in town knows Janet Green. I'm not necessarily low profile. It's not going to work. It's going to work. What's going on here? Well, you tell me, Liza. Self-destruction. You can't wait for the world to find out my wife is dead and you killed her. Janet must have thought she hit the jackpot with whatever's in that safe deposit box. And she would have sooner died to give you the key. What did you do to Janet to get it? Always pushing the sensational envelope, small-town TV mentality. Janet threatens you. She disappears. No one sees her. No one hears from her. And then all of a sudden, you have the key to her safe deposit box. Where, oh, where can old Janet be? Janet left town. Uh-huh. The official explanation was that while hopping through the woods, hunting for mushrooms... She had an epiphany and decided to leave Pine Valley for greener pastures. Yes, that's the story. The official explanation is more fiction than fact. What, what point are you circling here? You hired Janet to work for you. Two pariahs in a storm, how sweet. She gets bored with filing, starts snooping. But why? Why would Janet start snooping around your backyard? Oh, you call yourself a journalist? Janet is a convicted murderess who wouldn't blink at blackmail. I have many of clients who would be ruined if their records became public. Okay, I'll give you that one. Maybe that's how it started out. But how did she find information on Tony's death? You... You covered it up so completely. She snooped that out. No traces. No trails. You said no one would ever find out anything. You swore it to me. And I thought I had succeeded. I don't know what she got hold of or how. All I know is we have to get it. No, you get it. Or better yet, get Janet to get it. You're irresistible to the ladies, aren't you? Eliza, if I knew where Janet was, you know I would where pursue she it. Is. She can't get it for you. She can't do anything, can she? Because she's dead. And you killed her, didn't you? Where am I? I think it's an attic of an old church. Church? Why? I, I don't know. No. Not a church. It feels like a jail. It's a jail. No. Shh. It's not jail. No. 
quiet, or they'll give you more drugs. Do you hear me? No one else. No one else. Janet, out, out. Janet, please. They'll hear you if you're not quiet. You'll make it worse. Hmm. <sighs> 